This is the VersaCarry holster system. Uh, with the uh, SP-101, as you can see, it tucks in pretty nicely. Uh, everything very secure, but at the same time, easy draw. So, uh, pretty much, what more could you ask for from something that's so incredibly minimalist? Really, it's just the bare bones of what you need to safely carry a weapon. And it's a heck of a lot better than just stuffing something down the side or back of your pants and hoping that it stays there. As you can see, the retention is pretty strong. And uh, really, the uh, break-in period on these is, uh, you know, pretty good. The um, retention peg is sized to exactly the caliber that you need. And there's a certain angle to that that uh, keeps quite a bit of tension on here. So much so that you'll actually get little shavings that come off of that retention plug. Um, pretty impressed with it. It, uh, it holds in the waistband incredibly well. And uh, in fact, to the point that it does, I believe, more than what they uh, claim that it will. Um, VersaCarry won't say to wear this holster without any kind of a belt. I can tell you that, um, you know, that makes good sense. Certainly uh, need a belt for uh, proper retention. You need a belt to get the back side of this hook here so that the holster has enough tension on it to release the weapon. But uh, at the same time, just for giggles while doing lawn work, I actually was wearing this with the small auto in a pair of uh, nylon shorts. Believe it or not, stay put. So, now, had I drawn it, could the whole holster have come out? That's the worry. That's why VersaCarry tells you you gotta have a belt. And a good belt is uh, definitely something that you need to uh, comfortably conceal carry. And the belt that I'm wearing right here is actually VersaCarry's double thickness heavy duty belt. And uh, they're, they're quite nice. I like it a lot. Here the Versa carries on a small auto. This is the uh, car CM40. Notice something. It doesn't get in the way of a laser. Here's a closer look at that Versa carry belt that I was talking about. You can see that it's got uh, excellent stitching. Very, very thick belt. Actually got a removable buckle. And uh, I've worn it quite a bit, but I could not tell you uh, about any kind of nickel content with the uh, buckle. I've not yet had a problem. I do have a nickel allergy, so uh, that would lead me to believe that uh, there would be, you know, not much trouble with that, but I haven't uh, had enough direct contact with it. It usually comes after a few months of wear for me. So uh, I will tell you, I've worn this for quite a bit, and uh, it's a really nice belt. Finish on this is excellent, as you can see. This is the brown version, and uh, it's uh, it's a Versa carry. Quite nice. Some folks keep a hideaway gun just for emergencies, something to grab and go, or grab and use. Do you want to have to deal with this if you have to grab and go? Or what if you have to grab it and use it now? The VersaCarry is going to fit. Your gun's ready to go right now. And so are you. If you have proper storage like I do for your emergency gun by the door, where are you going to fit the holster?